back on the Chef You and I, and we're making a southern squash souffle. And we have actually taken and lowered the temperature on our pan. And now we're going to turn it off because we're going to add all the other ingredients to our, um, our mixture. So let's turn this off. And then let's add our milk, our evaporated milk. We just added our milk, and now we're going to add our, our mixture of the beaten egg. The beaten egg. That's two beaten eggs. And then we're going to add our Parmesan cheese. And then I'm going to layer the other cheese on top of the mixture in just a moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to stir that up really nice. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Sometimes that happens though in your kitchen, doesn't it? I really love to cook. I used to cook for seven or eight kids. And then when I got married, I had three children. And now we have lots of grandchildren. And I love cooking for them as well. So now what we're going to do, since we've turned this off, we're, we're now ready to put this in our souffle bowl. And we're going to put this in the oven at 350 degrees. So we're going to move all of this out. We're going to take this and we're going to use our salt and pepper again. Let's do that. And we're going to wipe this up real quick. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our souffle bowl right here, our, our casserole dish, and we're going to add um, everything into the souffle dish. And then we're going to add some other things along with it. Okay. So let's do that. This is pretty simple. It's just almost like you're making remember lasagna, but this is a creamy kind of dish and it smells delicious actually. It's going to be really beautiful. And then we're going to put that in the oven and like I said before, we're going to bake this for 45 minutes. You know, it's really funny. This has been a great summer already. The weather's been great. And we've had a little late season, actually, for um, some of our growing. But um, I know our, my friend Pat is growing a huge garden, and we're going to be over at her house this summer. And we're going to be making a couple of things with her. And then we're going to be doing a pastry show with her really quickly. So let's get all that in there. That's the onions. That's the the summer squash, that's the lovely juice, and then we're going to add our cheese to that in just a moment. Like I said, we've already preheated the oven to 350 degrees. All right, I think we've got most of it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the some of the juice to that. Oh, does that look delicious. Oh, that smells so good. I can't wait to taste it. I can't wait for my friend to taste it. She's really looking forward to this. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the rest of the cheese on top of it. And then you can add some more like I said, some cheddar, or not cheddar cheese, but some Parmesan cheese. I'm a real cheesy girl. I love cheese. So if you're like me, you'll want a lot of cheese on it. And then we're going to put that in the middle of the oven. And we're going to, like I said, bake it for about 45 minutes. Oh, it looks really good. So let's take that. And on that note, we'll be right back. We're back on The Chef You and I, and today we are also making a tomato panzella salad. This is a classic Italian salad at its best. And when you combine the ripe red tomatoes, the fresh basil, the good olive oil, and the best French or rustic gluten-free bread that you have, that you can find, you have a meal in itself. And you can even make the croutons really make the salad and you know I made some croutons the other day and they're in that little and you want to use like two cups of croutons so let's go ahead and start our first thing that we we did was we cut up four large ripe tomatoes and we cut them into inch cubes 
So that makes about four heaping cups. Then we did, uh, we took a red onion and we sliced it very thin. Um, then we took and we got these beautiful Kalamata olives and there's about a half a cup. They're pitted, cut in half and ready to go. Two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, two tablespoons of olive oil and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and one cup toward fresh basil leaves and two cups of mixed greens. Now what we're going to do first is we're going to place the tomatoes, onions and olives and balsamic vinegar and our olive oil into this nice bowl. And what we're going to do is, and the olives, and our onion. This looks so delicious. I can't wait to try the salad. And what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to let it stand at room temperature for about five minutes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to serve it on our greens, right? Um, along with our croutons. And it's going to be like a beautiful salad plate. You're going to love it. We'll be right back in just a moment after this message.